All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this cold cast presentation. I'm your casting host, Beef. Thanks for being here today, guys. We got coverage of the Ultimate Series, Panda Soul, the third installment of the Ultimate Series, going to be going on right here. So, once again, thanks for being here, bright and early here on the West Coast or wherever you are throughout the world. Got some high level competitive heroes in North coming at you. And I mean, I, I looked at this bracket pretty extensively last night, and this was the match that I wanted to do. And initially, the teams didn't want to be cast, but we were able to convince them. So, we got this one coming at you. Uh, <laughs> Solo Pimperne, I don't, I, I don't know, I always call them Listig's team, and they said, Beef, you can't call them Listig's team this time, you have to actually say our real name, so like, Solo Pimperne, I, I don't know, I'm gonna call him S. Joel, there we go, S. Joel versus the Lions female team, and you might have heard of this one before, um, these are all high level female players here. Uh, that have come together under the Lions tag and uh, with Super KGE coaching them. I'm looking forward to seeing the girls play for the first time here. And I, this definitely looks to be one of the more, if not the most competitive match in this first round. Both these teams with uh, 1,800 to 1,900 level players and both these teams with a decent amount of competitive experience behind them. So I'm very much so looking forward to this one. But once again, we are here for the Ultimate Panda Soul Tournament. Only one of these two teams can be moving on in this best of three single elimination tournament. And they'll be fighting for those gold coins and the Pandasol avatars throughout the week with the finals coming up on Thursday. But let's take a look at the game that's going on right here. As we're already well into the picking phase. Had to get a couple things done here before we got into the actual game. With everything being last minute. Already we do see Fade, Bubbles, Nighthound, and then a first lock pick, Ophelia, coming out for S. Joel. And uh, pretty strong makings of that lineup right there. Nighthound, we've seen him recently. Paracletos playing him uh, for Clan Milk a few weeks ago on Honcast. Didn't uh, quite win, but definitely, definitely showing off the ganking potential of that hero. And it looks like the Legion team will finish it out with the Torturer pickup for their support. A damn strong team. Most likely going to be uh, that Fade maybe pairing up with a Torture. In the middle lane, Nighthound going to be getting his farm on. While Bubbles likely goes suicide. And Ophelia being played by Dr. Rectum does her thing in the jungle. Rosie over there for the uh, Lions team giving a shout out to Fantasy and her boy Craig. My shout out to Fantasy as well. That guy and all the Honcast writers doing work over there at Honcast.com. Love getting to work with those guys. On the Lions female side of things... Let's take a look at uh, this team and really introduce you to these players, which I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of. We do have X Tijerte. Right. Guys, like, if you want me to pronounce your name correctly, you gotta have something that's easily pronounceable by somebody that does not speak Swedish or Danish or Dutch or whatever languages you might be speaking over there in Euroland. I can't say those words, so her name is now X. Then we got Rosie. Going to be playing the Aluna here. We got Mari. Going to be holding it down on Pharaoh. Snows in on Engineer doing the hard support thing. And then we got Slut Magnet on the Brown. Uh, on the Brown Pebbles. Going to be heading mid with Snows in. Should be a, a nice, good time there. Middle. Right now we have S. Joel actually moving up as four into the opposing team's jungle. Wanting to get these wards down. And they get one to block the pull. And uh, the other one they're placing in a somewhat interesting spot here. Going to be providing vision of this rune, but perhaps uh, just as importantly, going to be providing vision from right here. In case there is ever going to be rotation from the top lane, somebody like that, the Engineer or the Aluna, coming down and uh, from this area to try to go for a gank or from this area to try to come around, then this ward is going to spot it out. So a very nice ward here from the Legion team. Uh, the Hellborn team not placing any wards just yet. Mari has taken one into the bottom lane. Well... Snows in on Engineer, holds the one here in the middle. We'll see those go down momentarily, most likely. And as expected, it will be Wimp OG down here. A distant cousin of Noob G. Going to be playing the Nighthound. Going 1v1 against Mari. And Mari not stacked any region. Nighthound might have a pretty good time down here. Expect him to get some pretty good levels of farm. And there we 
go. So I just need to check on one thing. I was looking for my boy Chuck64. If you guys might recall, I have had him on for the past two Ultimate Series co-casting with me. And I was going to see if Chuck wanted to come hang out again. But unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be around today. I guess Miss Inklin is holding down the admin duties of this week's tournament. Taking a look at this top lane, Dark Sparta. Going to be uh, going up against a Luna here. Of course, Bubbles with the higher armor as a result of that Guardian Ring. He's able to favorably trade auto attacks with Rosie, but uh, once she starts throwing out power throws, then it will get a little bit more rough for her. She might actually die right here. Dark Sparta trying to uh, get in there. Rosie, unfortunately, uh, with the level 1 Emerald Lightning instead of uh, Power Throw isn't able to put out the damage against Dark Sparta. An unconventional style of uh, build and does miss that first Power Throw. Dark Sparta just being a little bit too slippery in bottom lane. We got the Night Hound throwing out damage onto Pharaoh, but don't expect to kill in that bottom lane unless somebody gets pretty out of position. This middle lane, however, is uh, definitely going to be a site of possible kills. Actually, well, that Pharaoh is taking a lot of damage. One more auto here from Ophelia and the Skeleton King might be enough. No, it's not going to be. Night Down has a pounce in three seconds, so he's actually going to choose to back off. We'll take a considerable amount of damage from Creeps and the Tower. And in fact, Wimpo G going to lose almost his entire health pool here. Oh, not ideal. Mari has to head back into the base, though. Pebbles Engineer going up against Fade Torture. Definitely a stun heavy lineup. Middle. But Tort going for a little bit of a roam here. Did pick up that Invis rune. Taking a look at the top lane where Aluna is hanging out. Mm, Aluna playing it very cautious though. She's completely out of regen and Dark Lady not donating any just yet. There's going to be the Impalement going off. Aluna going to turn it around with the Emerald Lightning, but Aluna will go down. Angry Poo getting the connections on the Impalement and does bring home the Bloodlust kill. So well done by the Legion team. That's the CS looking down here for Nighthound. Currently 11 and 12. You don't see that too often. The carry player going uh, higher on the denies than actual last hits. Versus a 1 and 1 of Pharaoh. So um, that's a little bit unfortunate. So far, Mari just has not been able to get any CS. And the Legion team really uh, getting off to a pretty good start here in the bottom lane. Middle, Listig, certain at 13 and 4. Gonna use the Burning Shadows. Chain Reaction goes out as well. Keg is going to miss. The Slagmites connect, though, and they will make sure that Pebbles is able to get out of there. So, good defensive play here from the Lions female team. Making sure not to give up a kill in that middle lane. And up top, we got uh, X on the Dark Lady. Sitting at 16 and 8, the top farmer on this Hellborn team. In fact, the uh, top farmer in the game by just a very small margin. Well, never mind. Nighthound just got a couple last hits and uh, did take the lead there. But ends up going life tube first. And this is an interesting choice in a 2v1 lane. Uh, I would have expected perhaps to go for the early Ghost Marchers. Simply because Dark Lady with level 7 and Ghost Marchers can just annihilate a Bubbles. Once she connects with that Silence... There's absolutely nothing the Bubbles can do, and, uh, well, with those Ghost Marchers activated, Dark Lady can just run the poor little turtle down. But, for now, Dark Lady, uh, feeling like she does need that regen, doesn't want to take any more damage than necessary from those Bubbles. And things look relatively even here in the middle lane, as, uh, Torture does get a two-man chain reaction stun, oh. Two woman chain reaction stuff? I don't know. Two man, we'll go with it. Certainly is something that's uh, not too common in esports and definitely not in Han, an all female team. Not unheard of by any means. But always fun. And Ophelia going to be putting some pressure onto Engineer, who is having to back up here. Ophelia could be in a little bit of trouble, though. 
Minotaur is going to go for the intercept. Oh, Stalagmite's going to miss. The chuck backward onto Engineer, though. And now Ophelia not going to get hit by the keg either. Pebbles is now the one that's in a little bit of trouble. The turret going to be used, but not really helping out too much. Chain Reaction misses as well. And so just uh, quite a few misses here. Fade still looking for the Burning Shadows. There's the Impalement going off. And Pharaoh's not going to be of too much help. Burning Shadows connects and down will go Engineer. Uh, looks like Torture going to be sent home. And the three-man dive here from the Legion team pays off as they bring home their second kill of the game. Dark Sparta is, uh, unfortunately, for the Lions female team, is getting quite a bit of uh, experience up here. Going to be hitting level 6 relatively soon, and you really do want to deny that level 6 to a Bubbles as long as possible. Make sure that he does not get the increased utility of that Cal Field, but Rosie just unable to push Bubbles out of the lane so far. And in the bottom lane, Nighthound has continued to free farm. Wimpo G learning from his Danish cousin. Well, just the arts of being a hard carry. Currently sitting at 310 gold per minute. And this is definitely here that if he gets levels in gold, you could be in a very, very bad place. So we'll see how Wimpo G does choose to play this one going forward. And Bubbles using the Shell Surf there to actually uh, go for some farm. But Dark Lady still with no boots is unfortunately not going to be able to apply Chase. Instead, we'll finish that sustainer very early on. So could be going for something like a Naked Ruined Cleaver. And... Hmm. Very, very interesting. Would facilitate uh, some high levels of farm. But top lane, a little will go down. Dark Lady in trouble as well as that Calfield did go down. And Torture helped pick up a second kill there, using that impalement. Angry Poo getting the roam on is doing some work. Engineer and Pebbles trying to find a kill in the middle lane, but unfortunately weren't able to combo their stuns perfectly, and Fade was able to get that Burning Shadows off to make sure that uh, he was able to get out of there. Holistic, very nice. Reflection activated. There's the opener. Burning Shadows is there as well. And a 5-0 lead now for the Legion team. The Lions, the female team, not doing so hot. Make that six, possibly. Pharaoh going to throw up the wall mummies here in the bottom lane. And Wimpo G saying, eh, you don't really uh, phase me too much with that. I'm just going to hop over this and continue killing you. Stab you in the back. And Engineer showing up. This could be a little bit dangerous. And yes, there is going to be the blink strike. And Engineer will go down to the judgment coming out of Ophelia. With that, they should be able to uh, mount a push on this tower as well. So for the Lions female team, it certainly looks like uh, it's going to be pretty much all in on X here. Needs to get her ruined cleaver up very, very quickly and try to get some farm before things get out of control. But Bubbles and Torture up here for some more. Kelfield going down. Going to be killing Aluna right away. Dark Lady had already broken the kelp field, though, and is able to get out of there. Unfortunately, Rosie giving up her third death of the game. Middle lane, though. The Lions could be looking for their first kill. Oh, they're just barely not able to bring home Listig. Surviving on about 20 HP. He will walk out of there with that invis top lane. Dark Lady going to fall as Angry Poo and Dark Sparta combo for yet another kill in this top lane. And Nighthound showing up middle lane now. Going to be uh, deactivating some potions and generally wreaking havoc for this Legion team. Very nice. Getting that roam on. Looks like uh, Wimpo G did opt for the Energizer, which is definitely an item that I like to see. With that uh, backstab relying on the agility, getting all these early agi items is very, very nice. And Fate going to be looking for a two-man Burning Shadows. Will only connect onto Engineer, but NG drops quite quickly. There's the Blink Strike onto Pebbles, and, well, Slot Magnet, I don't think you're going to be getting out of there. 166 damage on that backstab, and down goes Pebbles. So things getting very, very out of hand quickly here for the Lions female team. The Dark Lady hard carry continues to farm all right, but 
with the additional pressure that's being generated by Bubbles and the torture every time he comes up here. Dark Lady's just not being given the space that she needs to actually get that farm going. And Bubbles, once again, Keltfield off cooldown. They're going to go for a kill here onto TDL. Auto attacks being thrown out. Nighthound is there. And there's the smoke cloud. Shell Surf comes in. The chain reaction stuns him out. And down goes X once more. Her third death of the game. Alita did TP out of there, so Rosie's saying, you guys are not going to get uh, any more kills on me. Actually, only TPing to that first tier tower, so a very short TP. Torture and Nighthound looking to possibly generate some additional kills here. Word of Revelation was just dropped by Snowzen. And... Will it be enough? Fate actually looking for a kill here at middle lane onto Pebbles. There's the reflection opener. Burning Shadows and the call to burn some mana, but Pebbles just going to sip on that bottle. Be just fine. And there's a keg connecting the turret. Unfortunately not going to be. Impalement going off, but a nice Emerald Lightning. And Nighthound going for a deep dive here. Power Throw connects onto Torture, killing some trees. And there's the Pharaoh Wall. Going up with a blink strike will be enough as Nighthound's able to get the kill onto Snowzen. And uh, middle lane, Listig actually picking up the kill onto X's Dark Lady. Nighthound not given <laughs> really any respect here to the Lions female team. Just standing in the tower, killing creeps. 14 to 0 the score here with the Legion team in the lead. And what uh, appears to be something that's just gotten a little bit too out of hand for the Hellborn. And you can certainly expect this one to most likely be over here at the 15 minute mark. Go into game two with perhaps a, a better start and a better chance at uh, making this series a little more even. And Dark Lady did finally pick up those boots, so gonna be able to get a little bit active perhaps. We'll try to get some kills. Unfortunately, the uh, sustainer, the farming item, did not pay off. This is Hellborn team. I mean, you might see Nighthound and think, hey, this isn't a team that's going to be getting too aggressive too early. Not so. Wimpo G going to be getting a kill in the middle lane onto the electrician. Uh, almost got one under Dark Lady there as well. The Plink Strike animation just canceled just a little bit too quickly. That pounce does work though when you've got this much agility and is going to start building into a Null Fire Blade, a standard item on Nighthound, giving a pretty significant amount of agility and of course that mana burn as well. The pounce, or excuse me, the, uh, the uh, purge on the Null Fire Blade certainly helped for Nighthound to run his opponents down as well. Dr. Rectum playing the Ophelia has finished up the Ring of Teacher, or excuse me, the Ring of Sorcery, as well as the Astrolabe. Might pick up this Invisibility Rune here. Nope. We'll leave it for somebody else on the team, perhaps. And Fade going to be walking over there with an empty bottle. So it looks like they have found their prime target for that Invis Rune. And the Legion team going to capitalize on the large golden experience lead that they have by taking some additional map control and filling their coffers with just that much more gold. Taking these towers down pretty dang methodically. The Lions female team just unfortunately doesn't have a whole lot to combat this. Red boots and a sustainer are the uh, tail of the tape for the Hellborn team. Whereas the Legion team, steam boots on pretty much everybody. I mean... Well, excuse me. Steam boots on two players. Actually, there's chain reactions. Gonna take out Engineer very quickly. Pharaoh gonna be coming in, trapping three inside. And Bubbles will maybe drop right here. Uh, one more auto from the tower is not gonna be enough. In the meantime, the genocide has been completed for the Legion team as the Lions were looking for just one hero kill before the game was to be given up. But 15 minutes in, they were not able to find one. And the Legion team. Let's dig in his boys from Sholof and Perenay. 
just able to walk away with this victory. And uh, they're going to be going into game two with all the momentum. It's going to be up to the Lions female team to try to bring this one back and force a game number three. We'll see if they can do it. I think that they got what it takes. Maybe just a little bit of nerves there in that first game. Now that they're warmed up, we'll have to see how well they can do in game number two. But ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go ahead and take a quick break and get that second game set up. So don't go anywhere. This is Ultimate Series Pandasol with me, casting host Beef on Colcast. And we're going to be right back with some more competitive Han right here. 